What does water polo mean to you? I mean, kind of a question is that, it's everything. It's my life. My name is Patrick Callahan. Play water polo for CBHS. Number four in the water. Number one Moe's fan in Memphis. But I'm easily the best water polo player on the high school level, Memphis, maybe even Tennessee. When someone says water polo, who do you think of? Callahan. 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 Patrick Callahan. What did you think about Patrick doing water polo? Well, Patrick and I met about freshman year. You know, I, he's always talking about how he's this legend at water polo, right? And at the time, I thought water polo was just this weird sport. I didn't really pay much attention to it, but. You know, as Pat Patrick and I became friends, and I realized water polo is coming big, almost legendary in the Christian Brothers. You know, I never really wanted to go to any of the games because, you know, professional CSGO player here, our future, look out for me. Um, you know, but Patrick really, really swims well in the pool, you know, always throwing the goals and everything. It's, it's incredible. It really is incredible. And you know, as one of the legends of Christian Brothers, I really look out for him in the Hall of Fame, the Water Polo Hall of Fame. How has Patrick's water polo career affected your relationship with him? Wow. Where do I even begin? You know, uh, me and Callahan go way back. I just remember us being together, middle school choir, singing our hearts out, having the time of our lives. We were both in Alice in Wonderland in seventh grade. He was Tweedledee and I was Tweedledum. Man, I could definitely call him one of my best friends in middle school. Uh, going into high school, I didn't really know where I wanted to go. I ended up choosing St. Benedict. He chose Christian Brothers and the... <laughs> Sorry. We just kind of separated for a little while. Our friendship fell off and really, I didn't have him in my life. About a year and a half later, one of my friends on the St. Benedict water polo team, Zachary Ryan, invited me to come watch a game. In, honest, in all honesty, I was really, really excited. Uh, learned they were playing Christian Brothers, two great teams going at it. I showed up. I was watching and one player stood out to me. It wasn't on the St. Benedict team, it was on Christian Brothers. He was hustling for every ball, played with more heart than honestly any player I've ever seen. You know, he looked kind of familiar to me, but I couldn't really put a name to a face because they're in the water, you know. Uh, afterwards, I went up to him, tapped him on the shoulder. He turned around. It was Callahan. <laughs> um, after that, our friendship really grew again. I was able to take that moment and build our friendship beyond what it ever was. And I, all I have to say is without water polo, I could have never gotten my best friend back. Tell me about the first time you saw Patrick play water polo. I first saw him play sophomore year and he was playing in the county tournament. He was playing the semifinals and they were going up against St. George's and I was watching it with my boy Sean Dolan. Patrick was playing his heart out all game. It was the fourth quarter and it was a really close game. And he was so exhausted that he couldn't even push himself out of the pool. 
When he got to the bench, he was pouring water all over himself, like that meme of the guy who was pouring water all over himself in the pool. Roll the meme. Well, pretty much the ref missed a blatant call, and Patrick and this other guy just got completely pissed. They stood up, and they were so mad, and they were yelling at the ref. They were the only two yell people yelling at the ref, but the ref knew that Patrick was an integral part of the team, so he completely focused his attacks on Patrick Callahan, and he kicked him out of the game and the rest of the tournament. The brothers went on to lose that game without Patrick. But next year, they came back fighting, and when they went into the tournament, clear favorites after an undefeated regular season. That was my first time seeing Patrick play that whole year, and it was breathtaking. I still don't understand to this day how he swam so much without even getting tired. I did my part as Yale leader to motivate him and the team by chanting players' names whenever they scored, or leading the student section in what we call a roller coaster. It was so live. The game was close, but with Patrick in all game, there was no way we could lose. Everything he did, it was just so, so steep. After that, I can definitely say that I'm the biggest water polo fan at CBHS. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. I am. <laughs> well, I joined the team as a freshman, and Patrick really helped me learn how the game worked and helped me in the water when I had issues learning it. And he really took charge of the team when he became a captain this, this uh, year. But to be honest, he really bullies me a lot. Hey! Uh, I mean, like, bully me in a good way. Like, he helps me when I do things wrong, like, not in a forceful way. Describe what made him look good at water polo. Oh, he was a beast. He was so tall, so so big. Like the second he got in the water, the game was over already. Like once he got where he wanted to be, you just throw him the ball and he'd do whatever and it'd go right in the net. I mean, if you were ever in trouble on offense, if you didn't know what to do, you just throw him the ball, he takes care of it. And even if the situation looks impossible, he scores it. It's so easy. And his defense was great too, because the man was so big, such a big wingspan. I mean, his his work ethic and his game was really like what inspired me to do better on the team and what still keeps me from keep, keeps me going keeps me trying to do better on the team but man it sucked when he graduated last year wait who do you think we're talking about I'm talking about jonathan bilson right this is about patrick callahan <laughs> oh no nah, no he's he's trash how'd i get into water polo it's been a part of me my whole life my first word was ball ball really is life for me it's just that ball's a water polo ball yeah, Patrick and I used to play water polo together back in middle school, but in the beginning it was barely water polo. We had a size one soccer ball and two chairs set up on the shallow end of the pool. We called that the goal. But even those, in those humble beginnings, you knew Patrick was something special. Um, when we were picking teams, you know, everyone went to Patrick because you wanted to win and Patrick was a winner. Um, no goalie could block his shots. No, no defender could keep him in check. Heck, sometimes his own teammates, you know, we held him back because we wanted the ball so much. And But, you know, even off the ball, he just, his movement was so graceful and powerful, like a ballerina. Just look at him now. I like to take credit for where he is, you know, in those humble beginnings in the pool. Started getting serious in eighth grade. I was the top swimmer for St. Francis. <laughs> ching, ching. Tim rolls for life. I had recruiters come to every meet. Once I got to high school, I didn't have to try out. They just put me on the team. Over the past three years, I've perfected the sport. I did have to quit swim because there wasn't enough water polo, but now I'm back for my senior year and I'm ready. Got a ton of recruiters coming, like a lot. This is about to be my best year of water polo. Y'all aren't ready.
don't need nobody trying to play a role No turnaround time when I make my shit Everything I do will underrate my shit Better know the game can't date my shit Like 20 more years they gon' play my shit Goddamn, moving with the plan Started out and nobody would ever understand Till they heard about the money that was coming in Shout out to the people who been showing all their friends You know I've been locked in, never stopping On the drop in, not flopping, never rocking with a rap king All the fans got my back, never lacking In my free time I reply, never slacking Told myself I found a way 2013 it would laugh every day Nobody ever showed love in my way I was excited for 200 plays Now I've been thankful for all of the hate Gave me more reason to get here today All of the anger got put in the work And I'm keeping it going Cause I'ma get it now though I'ma get it now though Yeah, let's give a quick shout out to Christina Applegate.